Now, buddy, recently I discovered a brand new flight simulator on Steam called Our World, which describes itself as a one-to-one -one global flight simulator featuring 3D city modeling, multiplayer online gaming, deluxe version include all aircrafts and features. This, everybody, is a new flight simulator released on the 22nd of June for around $80, which is definitely not cheap. I mean, you know, that's more than the base model of the Microsoft flight simulator, and yes, indeed, the pictures here look incredibly promising. Why is no one talking about this flight simulator, I asked myself. And so it's time for me to do that. So, buddy, there is one user review already. It's, um, it doesn't recommend it. That's great. Which describes how it works. Let's me go ahead and jump in already. Try out this 80 euro game. Failure. Yeah, okay, you know what? It's actually a bit broken. So you have to open it via Cesium Google 51. Weird work around everybody. Welcome to our world flight simulator. Oh, fancy. We can already see the world loading up. All right. Crazy music here. We can have some modes here. Play, free, find server, hangar, settings. I think the most interesting item would be settings here. Mouse and keyboard settings. Turn up, turn down, turn left, turn right, speed up. Wait, speed up with your space bar? This already seems like a great flight simulator. Is that 6 9 in the background? I'm not, I don't know. Anyway, anyways, maybe now time to actually explore the hangar right here. Which, when we click on it, doesn't work. I just bought this for 80 bucks. Let's just go ahead and just press play, I this guess. This is actually where it gets interesting now. So we can choose the location. And we have Worldwide Flying. France, Paris, Afternoon. Or USA, LA, Sunny. We can go anywhere around the world, really. We've lost, got lots of locations that we cannot search ourselves. But they're given here. This is a lot. And this is definitely... It looks great, low land. And this is a bit of a strange thing now. We have to set the match time in minutes. Let's make it 600 minutes of match time. Yeah, this is a fighter simulator. This only has one fighter plane that I don't even know how what, what it is. I can't identify it. No, this is not a, a commercial airline flight simulator or anything. God damn, the music is very aggressive. Anyway, time to get going here. Gets create server. All right, and so let's just go ahead and press play. We can already see the world building up right now. Paris is building up. And it's about to get pretty impressive, actually. All right, might be time to just discover Franz right now. So I'm moving my mouse with which we can actually move the fighter jet. And we can already see this looks incredibly good. It looks like the Google Maps or like Google Earth, but that's still kind of cool. Let's just go a bit. Let's give him full power here using the space bar. Okay, using the space bar, we can, we can fly. Um, I'm already saying this, uh, this is a very professional flight simulator, everybody. Yes, welcome to Paris indeed. This actually looks real nice. We even have some weapons here we can use. These don't actually do anything to Paris. It's, uh, it just sucks. We have a missile. And we've just crashed into the city of Paris. Wasted. No, I don't know what this is. Hey, come on, let's play again. Try again here. Alright, come on. Let me just, uh, whatever this is. This is, uh, building. Ah, okay, there we go. We can do something. We can play war here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great, great, great. Oh, yeah. That actually is pretty fun. And actually, you know what? This really does look amazing. It's a shame that we're so fast in this plane that the landscape doesn't actually load up. Now, what is this, you might ask? Well, the answer lies in the actual bulb engine this is running on. This is running on Cesium Google. And when you Google that, you find out Cesium partners with Google Maps platform to render its new photorealistic 3D tiles. Basically, this is Google Maps, but turned into a video game. Genuinely, the Google Maps you can find. For 80 bucks, this is actually pretty cool still. This looks better than the Microsoft Flight Simulator, or at least can look better. The thing is, though, we are, uh, as you can see, are struggling very much with having to, of course, load the landscape. It's not like my internet is slow or anything. It's just that the, you know, Google just struggles loading in all this data. It's a lot. It's a shame it doesn't work properly. They try to, like, kind of cover it up by having, like, this vignette blur mask that kind of makes it to just that you kind of just are passed out. But it still doesn't really work. But you know, I like the idea. Now, maybe let's check out the flight simulator parts. And those suck a lot. For example, let's go ahead and just slow down this plane. You know, it does have a kind of a speed break. That's nice. But now we're standstill. The plane is flying well. We can uh, still go up. We can still go down. We can pitch and we can roll. We can do anything we want while we're standing still, literally. 
but we're literally upside down right now. I cannot even like change the camera views. There's no cockpit properly. There's only this. There's no instruments properly. There's nothing that shows our speed. Like on the flight simulator level, this is the worst I've ever seen. Genuinely. But we can maybe try to fly properly anyway. Let's maybe go up. Because you can actually kind of go out of space with this thing. Wow, the motion blur, actually, that sucks still. I mean, it makes it look even worse than it should. Here you go, check this out. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. It's better than the Flight Simulator 2020. I mean, we can maybe just explore the free mode right here, adding 600 hours of match time or something. Let me go ahead and add a max speed of 13,000 kilometers and a acceleration of 1,000 per sec. What is that? Okay, we go ahead and choose another location here. Melbourne. We have the whole world, of course. It's a flight smoother after all. Hong Kong will be very interesting with all the buildings. Now let's do a bit of a test flight. This shall be very interesting now that we've set our fighters to our desired performance, which is very realistic. Now crossing the clouds. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, that was close. Okay, we do also have some clouds. That's something that's added in, and those actually don't even look that bad. Jesus. By the way, this is Hong Kong City right now. This plane's just drifting. It's just so fast. Here we go. Hong Kong, some sort of bay here. And it's very much struggling to load it in. I just paid 80 bucks for this, by the way. Let me try out New York. I mean, I mean it's what we can kind of expect of Google Maps. Let's have the music as well. All right, here we go now. That's a lot to load in, that's for sure, too. This is the, a very good idea still. I mean, it's kind of what Microsoft with Bing does. They don't really draw the buildings themselves. They just use imagery, you know, scanned image. That actually looks pretty cool. So maybe go ahead and now explore the world a little bit more. After all, you can fly anywhere. You do have the Google Maps after all. Oh yeah, we can go really fast. It's a shame that I don't even have like a map or anything. I mean, to be honest, this is probably like a project done by one person. Like it's kind of understandable that this is not like the most advanced flight simulator. But we're talking about paying 80 bucks for like a glorified Google Maps. We, go, we can uh, kind of go out of space in this thing. That's kind of cool. Even the sounds are bad. I mean, we all still remember the Google Earth flight simulator, which wasn't even that good. Like that one didn't have a plane model, but you can kind of just like fly in the Google Earth. That worked pretty well. And this is kind of just with a plane model, but for almost hundred bucks. That's great. But everybody, you know what? Maybe we should give like this AI combat mode a chance. So select your team AI. All right, now team A bot, team B bots. We've got proper other planes that will attack us now. That will be interesting. All right, select your team human. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, that I didn't expect. I thought that was only like one thing. There's literally a huge explosion in the sky. Come on, let's shoot that down some planes ourselves. Oh my God, there's even more. There's more. Oh, that's like flying through a block of bird. What was that? And it's starting to lag too. Oh my God. Oh, we've cut, killed ourselves too. <laughs> oh God. So what I just did there, I thought 400 meant like hours or something. Turns out 400 means literally 400 planes attacking each other. Okay. That is very interesting. We can go very slow and just like kind of like try to shoot too. Shoot some airplanes, please. It's like a massive fireball in the sky. Oh, we're being shot down. Oh, okay. All oh, right. It's not working out at all. That's not even like a flock of birds. It's just a flock of like insects. Check this out. I mean, we've got some cool animations here. With, oh my God, we were just shot at. Something I'm wondering about is like a flight simulator is not a flight simulator when you can't land. I don't think you can land this flight simulator at all. So then we might just want to try doing is find an airport. Here we are in Los Angeles. Uh, the, the, the rudder works very well. So let me go and just land now. You know, but because Google Maps works so well, the airport really doesn't look bad. I mean, okay, we can't have the proper full runway spawn in, but this is really not bad looking. So come on, let's land now. Perfect. So a uh, landing means to cry. Even though if you put the landing gear down, that's been no issue at all. So probably even worse than the Google Flight Simulator because you could actually land in that one. Oh, this absolutely sucks. <laughs> So yeah, I'm agreeing with Mr. Jacobs here who uh, didn't recommend this game. It is leveraging Google Maps data to create one-to-one -one cityscapes, which is very cool. However, the actual gameplay can similarly be just had by using Google Maps. I'm excited by the technology on display here, but the gameplay is a big pass for me and that I definitely agree to. I wouldn't recommend buying this game for 80 bucks yet. Maybe in the future we can see some improvement on it though. So I wouldn't give my hopes up 
just yet. The basis is really cool. So really, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Deram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Spellhausen, Knots Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.